So you've heard a voice from beyond and built an artifact. What now? Lucky for you, your efforts haven't gone unnoticed, dear Stukos, and there's a little group of people who would love to meet you. Make sure you grab your artifact, after all, that is your ticket in, and head to the graveyard to the south of the fort. Make your way down the crypt stairs, and you'll find yourself in the Strange Mood Society's antechamber. Here in this room, we remember all those who received the call to create, but failed their initiation. Both Zas and Eton were touched by the Divine, but when they were unable to live up to their calling, Zas fell into a depression and died of dehydration, and Eton went berserk with rage and was killed by a gathering of his fellow dwarves. Because they weren't able to create their artifacts, they must be kept out of the inner sanctum, but we still honor the divine touch they received by keeping them close. Keep traveling south now and you will find yourself in the Strange Mood Society's inner sanctum. Here you will find a gathering of almost all those who have been possessed, taken by a fey mood, or withdrawn from society for a time to create a legendary artifact. By creating an artifact, you are committed to this society, and as long as your artifact remains within the four walls of the Inner Sanctum, you will remain a member. Within these walls we have a Gabro hatch cover created by Lore, a perfect green glass gem created by Uvash, an adamantine toy hammer created by Tobol, an adamantine crossbow created by Krogsak, and perhaps our most impressive artifact of all, Created by little two-year-old Zugla is a giant Kiobone pick encrusted with gems. And yes now, dear Stukos, you too will have your artifact placed upon a pedestal in this most sacred hall. A perfect chrysoberyl that secures your place. But don't wander too long, or sleep too heavily, lest your ticket be stolen. You would know too much, and without your ticket you would no longer have a place in the inner sanctum. If your artifact was stolen, then it's only logical that you would need to be punished. After all, if the divines that gave you the strange mood to create the artifact saw fit to take that artifact away, then fellow dwarves in the mortal realm are only doing their duty by following the lead of the divines. Of course you saw the bridge when you came in, you must be curious about it, but as long as your artifact remains on your pedestal, you need not think of it. Don't think about what it means to be erased from existence, leaving neither body nor ghost behind, like you never even existed. Yes, it's better to live in the moment and watch your pedestal closely, dear Stukos. I'm sure all will be well, as long as you just watch it closely. Thanks for watching.